What's up, Puzzlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. Hey, you guys, I want to make this short video, but I want to start off by saying that I do not create content for everybody. Now, I am super grateful if you tune into my content, get value from it, share it, subscribe, help the community to grow. However, I do want to start this video off by saying that because I don't want anything that I'm going to say to offend somebody because they think that I'm talking about them or they think that I'm talking to them, right? My content is for hustlers. When I use the word hustlers, that word has several definitions. Lots of times it's get a bad rap, but I mean a very enterprising person. I mean somebody that is interested in being a legitimate entrepreneur, right? Not somebody that's trying to do something illegal, something illegitimate or anything like that. I know people on both sides of the track and the legal hustlers make way more money than any of the illegitimate hustlers that I've ever even heard of before in real life. So um, as that laid down as the foundation, what I want to say is to the hustlers out there, um, stimulus checks are coming out really soon. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with your stimulus check. And at the end of the day, it is 100% your money. You can so choose to do whatever it is that you would like to do with your money. However, I want to suggest that you think about this opportunity, which it is, um, and utilize this opportunity to do something to change your life. So in this video, I don't have a pitch for you. I don't have any book for you to go read, any course for you to go buy. This is just man to man or man to woman. So all my female hustlers out there that will watch this video, I want you to think about what I said last time stimulus checks came out. If you missed that video or if you just wasn't subscribed to me at that time, I said, instead of using that money to pay your bills, why don't you pay your bills however you would pay your bills if you didn't get a stimulus check to build your life around stimulus checks or to make major plans around a temporary fix isn't a resolution. What I mean by that is that let's say you pay your light bill and your water bill with your stimulus check. Well, Lord willing, and you keep having a place to stay uh, next month, there's going to be another light bill and a water bill. So if you spend the stimulus check and that was your solution this time, what happens next time? So that's the part that I already know some people are going to completely disagree with. But like I said, if you don't understand that, I'm not even talking to you. So don't take any offense from it. Um, but if you are a hustler, if you are a legitimate entrepreneur and really want to get to the next level, really trying to attain financial freedom, I always say or I always been saying as it pertains to these stimulus checks, do whatever it is you would do if there wasn't a stimulus check to meet your needs. And utilize this opportunity of getting a stimulus check to do something entrepreneurial. Think about the pillars of success that we've all seen throughout history, where people that understand real estate, people that understand technology, people that understand finances, people that understand business from an entrepreneurial perspective, these sorts of men and women have traditionally excelled over those that didn't have an understanding in at least one of these areas or in none of these areas um, at all. So what I want to encourage you to do, if you're a hustler, right, is to really think about it. Checks, uh, I'm hearing different things, but they might come out as early as this week. In other videos, I will give you business ideas if you need some and are interested in learning what in the world can I do with this money to set me up. Because while somebody might tell you that $1,400 is no money, there's people that have started businesses with way less and have made a ton of money. So now is that enough money for you to retire yourself off of if you're talking about just spending that and retiring? No. But if, is that a big enough seed? for you to sow it into something, grow that, reinvest the profits, learn, grow, and scale up a business into something that makes six and seven figures? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, somebody that tells you that you can't do that or that's not enough money, um, they just lack financial literacy. Let's just call it spade a spade. Um, you can invest in a ton of things, whether you want to get into wholesaling houses, whether you want to invest in the business of social media, whether you want to start your own podcast, whether you want to start an e-commerce business. There's a lot of things that you could do with that money. 
So hopefully you see this video before you receive your stimulus check. And I'm going to end this the same way that I started. At the end of the day, it's your money. You're going to do with it whatever you feel is right. Um, you don't owe anybody an explanation. However, I do feel like, and I'm just speaking for me personally, that it is selfish if you have a family or if you have people that you care about, especially a generation that's coming after you, whether it's your kids, your nieces, your nephews, or whoever, and you don't do anything to set them up. I firmly believe we're not going to have the same past that prior generations had. What I mean by that is that my mother is still alive by the grace of God, but she's old enough to remember the civil rights movement. She lived through that. She graduated from an all black school. She drunk from a colored water fountain and she tells me stories about these things. So her plight, her journey was just more so trying to fight for civil rights. She wasn't even concerned about uh, starting a six or seven figure business. She just wanted to get more equality, wanted her kids to be able to drink of the same quality of water because where I'm from, Back in the day, the colored water fountain didn't even have clear water, right? It didn't even have the same filtration system. So she was just hoping that her kids had the opportunity to drink of the same quality of water as other people in the country, right? Now, I make content for people regardless of race. However, what I'm saying is that regardless of what your upbringing is and what, what your parents didn't do, what your grandparents didn't do, right? Nine times out of 10, if you following me, you come from a low income environment and now you're trying to better yourself. So for those of you out there that are like me, that's the same environment that I came from. I want you to understand we're not going to have the same past, right? We can't say that we had to fight for civil rights the same way that our ancestors had, whether it was your mother or grandmother, right? We, we not just going to have those same uh, excuses that are going to be socially acceptable. So when I think about doing something entrepreneurial, I feel like that is our duty, not just to ourselves, uh, because I believe that life is a gift from God, but also to those people that come after us so that we have to end this cycle of starting from zero. No more should our kids just be raised good enough to graduate high school and then they got to go off and figure out life on their own. We should have something to give them to tell them, hey, if you do want to go out to college uh, to help people, then hey, by all means, if you do want to go serve your country in the military, you can. If you do want to work for somebody else for whatever reason, uh, you can. But that is not your only options. I have some value to give you, whether it's in the form of information, um, uh, business, money, whatever, right? We got to stop this cycle because if we're going to ever truly get ahead, we got to become that sacrificial generation of change. So instead of blaming those people that came after us, we got to say, if we want the future to be different, it starts with us. And this opportunity of having a small stimulus check that you can take and you can invest in something small, right? I personally recommend that before you start looking on what to spend your money on, ask yourself, what do you understand? So before you go out and buy anything to start any business, utilize your free resources, this YouTube channel and others, my podcast and others. Check out people's books from the library, from Barnes and Nobles, right? Don't act like you ain't never been in no place and picked up a book and looked at some of the pages without buying it. So yes, you can go in there, check out some, a few pages. But step one is always to educate yourself. Don't just throw your money at anything because JT said you can make a lot of money or anybody else said you can make a lot of money because anything that can make you a lot of money can also cost you a lot of money. So again, in the next video, we'll have way more energy. We'll be back to turning up. I'll be um, back at you with another income stream. But um, I'm hearing a lot of people talking about it. So I wanted to take advantage of this very impromptu video and just speak my piece uh, for whatever it's worth. So again, I challenge you to consider if you didn't get a stimulus check, how would you pay your bills if that is what you were going to do with the money? Um, and ask yourself, what do you understand um, entrepreneurial wise, whether it is 
finance, real estate, business in general, technology in general, trading stocks or whatever, and that you can use part of that money to. Not saying that you got to drop the whole 1400 or whatever you get, depending on your dependents and et cetera. Not saying you got to drop 100% of that into a business or a, a different investment if you're not somebody that wants to do a traditional business. But I do want you to take advantage of this opportunity because this may be the last opportunity. Now, in the perfect world, stimulus checks will keep coming for forever. But uh, I don't want us to bet our financial livelihood and our financial future on stimulus checks because at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, are they really doing this to help the people or are they really doing this to help themselves? People were struggling prior to COVID. So where were the stimulus checks prior to COVID for all the people that were struggling? Now, yes, they had government assistance and other programs, but there were no mass checks the same way it is now. But there were a mass of people that just had to figure it out on their own. So uh, is COVID... The, the thing that finally makes the United States care about all of the people or is there a deeper motive? But I'm not here to get super political with you. I'm here to give you game and to motivate and encourage you to do something entrepreneurial so that the people that come after you don't have to start from the same level that you started from and that your ending doesn't have to be the same way your beginning is. So keep God first, educate yourself, think about what I share with you. Until next time, all my hustlers stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone.